if the sum of the three consecutive terms of an AP is given, then we can take an as. So, if they are asking, uh, find out the sum of the three consecutive means, you take, this is a first term, this is a second term, this is a third term. So, consecutive means some order, right? So, it's a minus one means a zero, then plus one. That's some order. Whether it is a one means a two means a three. Hence, the common difference is t. Okay, who's a common difference in Now, why I am telling this is, in your 11th sum, you are going to see about that. The sum of three consecutive terms that are in the AP. So, they given, this is a sum of the three consecutive number. And the product is 288. So, product means multiplication. Find the three terms. So, so what are the terms? They are going to find out. Okay. So, let, let the three consecutive terms are a minus b b a and a plus d that's only the given in the notes respectively okay so what they mention sum of the three consecutive Okay, so we are going to find out some of the three consecutive. Sum of three consecutive term terms equal to how much we have? 27. So what are the term? A minus T A sorry addition A and A plus T equal to 27. So sum of the terms. Okay. So sum of means I can ignore this and this. So how many A I am having? 3 A I am having. Then 27. So what is the A value? So multiplication going that side. Division 3. So what is my A value? 9. So I know my A value. Then what they mention? Product of the the product of three consecutive term consecutive is equal to 288 what are the three values they already given so we are going to take on that a minus d a a a plus d equal to 288 we know the a value but later so this is a a minus t into a plus t. What is the formula? a square minus d square into 8 equal to 288. Substitute a equal to 9. Okay, in this place. So a equal to 9 means 9 square minus d square into 9 equal to 288. So what is the value? 81 minus d square into 9 equal to 288. This 9 is going that place. 81 minus d square equal to 288 by 9. So whether it is cancelling in 9 table or not. Let's see you okay. can. Two eighty-eight nine table. First we cancelling in 3 table. So 27 for 9 times and 1 for 6 times. Again cancelling 3, 2. So 81 minus d square equal to 32 right so i can write d square is equal to 81 minus 32 normally how can we write this is moving this way so 81 minus 32 equal to d square then we are interchanging this part right so i am directly written that's it okay so subtraction of 81 minus 32 so i am having sorry 7 so 1 so 9 so what is the d value? So d square equal to 49. So d is equal to root 49. So d is equal to no, plus or minus 7. Correct. Plus or minus 7. So let a is equal to 9. d is equal to plus or minus 7. What are the consecutive terms? a minus d, a, a plus d. So in this place d equal to plus 7. So a equal to 9, d equal to minus 7. What will come? 
so 9 plus 9 minus 7, 2, a value directly I write, 9, 9 plus 7, how much you are getting, 16, in this place, a minus t, 9 minus 7, so minus into minus, so 9 plus 7, 16, a as usual, a plus d, 9, plus minus 7 so 9 minus 7 we are getting 9 yeah 9 minus 7 we are getting 2 the same only okay therefore the three consecutive terms therefore the three consecutive terms are what are the terms we are having 2 9 16 that's it okay then find out for the ratio of the sixth and eighth term the ratio of the sixth and eighth term of an ap is 7 x to 9 so we know t6 by t8 they mentioned term that's why so 7 by 9 okay find the ratio of the ninth and thirteenth term so how can i write we already know tn formula so we already know Tn formula is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. So in this place I don't know my a value. So a plus what's my n? 6. So 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 into d by a plus 8 minus 1 into d equal to 7 by 9. Okay. And then a plus 5d by a plus 7d without space. That's why I'm writing like this. Okay you will write neatly so for this for this i can cross multiply this is moving this is moving right so how can i write seven time sorry nine time of a plus 5d is equal to seven time of a plus 7d multiply 9a plus uh, i can get uh, nine pies of 45d is equal to 7a plus 49d. Separating a and separating d. So 9a minus 7a is equal to 49d minus 45d. Okay, this is moving this is so separate. Subtracting. So this is I am getting how much I am getting? 9 minus 7. 2a is equal to subtracting this 49. Uh, minus 45 4d so this 2 is moving that space 4 by 2d that implies a is equal to 2d by using this we are going to find out value okay more value we are going to find out is mm. so what we are doing we are going to find out this place is what they mentioned Find out the ratio of the T9 and T13. So, what is what T9 is equal to? I can write A plus 9 minus 1 into D. So, I can write A plus 8D. Okay. So, this is a T9. Then, what is our T13? So, T13 A plus 13 minus 1 into D. So, T13 I can write A plus 12D. So, what they are asking? Ratio. So, T9 by T13 is equal to what is? 8 A plus 8D plus A plus 12D. But we know what is the A value? A is equal to 2 times of D. So, substitute A equal to 2D. We get T9 by T13 equal to what are the value we are getting? 2D plus 8D by 2D plus 12D. So I am getting addition of this is 10D by addition of this is 14D. So I can cancel. D, D will get cancelled. In two tables, this is 5 times, this is 7. So 5 by 7 so t9 by 13 therefore the ratio of 
ninth and thirteenth uh, Thomas Thomas five is to seven. That's it. Okay.